Hi Beans, welcome back to another video. I'm using a new mic today, so I'm hoping that it sounds a little better than it usually does. So if you're new here, my name is Remy and I share lots of vegan recipes and tips to help you live well. And today's video is gonna be a mix of a vlog plus redoing the living room. So this is the after state. If you guys remember what it looked like before, we had a white couch and it was beautiful until it wasn't anymore. It just got so stained and it was not my doing. Um, it wasn't really washable. And the carpet also got super stained because we had cat sat and both had kind of had a little moment on the rug. So I am super excited to let you know that today's video is sponsored by Ruggable. Ruggable rugs are machine washable. They're also slip proof, stain resistant, and great for anyone who has pets or babies or kids if you have any of those. <laughs> also just amazing for the kitchen in particular, you guys may remember in my last apartment that I actually had both a runner and a rug under my bed. And I loved it because obviously the kitchen is a high spill area and I'm constantly dropping food on the floor. So it was really easy for me to just pull it off, throw it in the wash and clean it. All of Ruggable's rugs come with like an anti-slip mat and then you roll the top part, which you can peel off and throw in the wash to clean. They come in so many different patterns and designs. They have more minimalist ones and they even have really cool collabs. They had one with Keith Haring, which I love and have my eye on, but they really have so many colors and textures. So with their help, we are gonna transform the living room today and I'm so excited. It was the inspiration for me to just redo and replace a lot of things that I haven't been loving for a really long time. So I've rehomed a lot of it and I'm excited to show you the process. I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below. Make sure you check it out. I'm also gonna put my discount code on screen if you wanna grab a ruggable rug and save some money. Let's get into it. Look what's here. Heavier than I expected. It's like a plant pot almost. Good morning. We are gonna hit a new gym today that I signed up for. It's supposed to be like a mix of Equinox and Soho House. There's a lounge, there's a pool, there's a spa, and apparently the gym is amazing. I just wanted to join a proper gym gym because as much as I love my workout classes, there are days where I just wanna lift heavier or focus on specific lifts um, or even just like walk on the treadmill. So I thought I would try it out. I'm a little intimidated just because it was like, application only you need to be approved to join so i don't know it's been a while since i've been in a proper gym so we'll just see how it goes i probably won't film too much just because new environment but we'll see how busy it is it is 7 a.m right now so let's see Okay, beans i'm back from the gym i'm just gonna give you my quick honest review the facility is absolutely stunning more beautiful than any equinox gym i've been a member of and i think the idea is to kind of be an all-in-one for everything to me it's like equinox meets soho house plus class pass because there are incredible classes that are offered i saw through the window today that there was a class that looked like a berry's boot camp and i think it is and then there's also pilates which is amazing because at Equinox, you have to pay separately for Reformer Pilates classes, like an extra fee, but they have Reformer Pilates classes, they have hot yoga. Um, I'm gonna try out one of the classes later this week, or next week actually, but the facilities were absolutely beautiful. Everything was brand new. I love that like, maybe it was the time of day that I went, but they had all equipment available. I didn't have to wait for anything that I wanted to use, which was amazing. But I will say, when I walked in, the vibe was a little bit just unfriendly. Maybe the person at the desk when I checked in is not a morning person. Didn't even get very much help. Like, I don't know how a lot of things work still. There's not a lot of information about how everything works on their website. So I think next time I go, I'm going to be a little bit more aggressive and like ask questions because I need to know what time you book classes. Like everything was booked out. Um, it seems very competitive, especially for reformer Pilates classes. So I just, there's a lot to figure out, but I just really enjoyed and appreciated being able to do my own workout today, like program what I wanted to do and work out the way I wanted to. Like sometimes you go to a workout class and you wish that you could have hit like your hamstrings a little bit more. That's basically where I'm at right now. I'm liking the Pilates, the walking. I just want to add back in some days where I do my own thing and I'm doing, you know, heavy weightlifting, targeting certain muscle groups. And I could even do my Pilates there actually. So I'm going to try that class soon. Overall, it was beautiful. I want to check out the pool next time. Today, I was just kind of 
wandering and trying to figure out where everything was. It is now actually almost lunchtime because I had a mastermind call with some of my vegan friends, Tony, Chris, Jasmine, and Michelle. And it was just a great chat for a couple hours. So now it is actually lunchtime and I'm gonna heat up some leftover pizza that I have. I also wanted to show you guys something crazy that happened. This is a first for me. Got a burn on my stomach from using a hot pan. So I don't know what's going on today. We're gonna heat up some pizza for lunch. I'm gonna have these two slices. These are the vegan ones. Pure Vita, if you missed it in my last vlog, has the best gluten-free crust I've ever tried. And it's vegan. So we're gonna throw this on a pan, pop it in the oven, and that'll be lunch. I love an easy lunch. Oh, and I got some beans today at Sprouts after my workout, because we're gonna make some hummus tonight. So I'll show you that when we make the hummus. bad this is though this is just like so unfortunate and of course it's like during the summer <sighs> so you can probably tell by the title of this video but i'm gonna be doing over the kitchen living room area so this is kind of what it looks like right now let me flip this is kind of what it looks like right now it's just unbalanced i think and i'm not loving the way it looks the carpet has been through a lot i'm gonna switch it up to something more neutral and i'm also gonna change out the coffee table the couch I'm gonna deal with later, but I don't love it because it's picked up a lot of dirt. So I'm gonna refresh it. I got um, some new rugs from Ruggable. I also picked up like a kitchen runner like I used to have in my old place. So it'll just be a little bit nicer on the feet when we're standing in the kitchen working. Um, let me show you some stuff that came in though. I got something this morning already, which was a package from West Elm. And it was for these like concrete side tables, but I think I'm gonna use them for the living room. And I might also use one as a bedside table. Not sure yet. This just came in. It's from Amazon, it's a faux olive tree plant. And I love it because Sesame does love to get into my plants, so it's not gonna stay here. I'm just keeping it here for now, but I think I'm gonna also put it into the living room for some more green. One more thing that we got today is this poof. So it's got this protective cover on it right now. I'm gonna leave it on for now, just to preserve it as long as possible. So we're making hummus. I actually didn't use to like hummus. Uh, I actually never used to like hummus until maybe like three years ago because I think I was just having bad hummus. I feel like it always tastes better when you make it at home or if you go to ABCV <laughs> and you get the green chickpea hummus. Um, but we're gonna make hummus. And I never thought that hummus could be like a proper meal. I would be like weirded out when I would see people eating just like hummus and crudite or whatever as a meal. But now I fully believe it can be a meal. As long as you have enough of it and you're eating like enough veggies, you could have like bread. But we're gonna have hummus and we're gonna make it from scratch. I'm gonna be on vegetable duty, I think. I have radish, cucumbers, and carrots. And the ice half will make it like a little bit nicer and crunchier too. Is hummus a meal, yes or no? Tell me in the comments. Okay, now we compost the scraps and wait for the veggies to finish their bath. Yeah, I could do a little bit better with the plating, but whatever, for now. Yay, vegetables. Oh wait, maybe we'll just like play the sound on yours and I'll do it on Okay. Here. I have to like make sure I'm going in here though, <laughs> underneath. Should I like let it play and then I'll do it a second time? Oh, duh, so, like, yes. And I'll just keep them there. Okay, and then I'll come back up. So I went to an art supply store today and we we're gonna paint some canvases because it's actually a lot cheaper to do it yourself um, and just pay for a large canvas than it is to buy art. At least the type I'm looking for, it's very minimal, very simple. It's like kind of one of those pieces where you could laugh that people sell it, if you know what I mean. Like all white, touches of like neutral grays and then like some texture. So I just figured it would be fun, therapeutic for me to like paint a little bit and a lot cheaper. So the three canvases that I bought were each, not the cheapest, 
$95 each. I know there's probably places where I could get secondhand canvases or just cheaper canvases, but uh, in comparison, one piece of art that's like done and a little bit smaller than this could sometimes retail for like almost $300. Um, so making it, buying the paint, in all today I spent about $300 on my canvases, my paint, all of my equipment, and I'm gonna make three pieces. I also think the size is really good. I just feel like the art that's on the wall right now, a little bit small for like the, all the wall space. Um, so I just want something that will make it bigger. I am just winging this, so I'm just gonna start with some white. And then I'm going to add like tiny bits of brown. Okay, I know it probably looks so basic, but this is exactly what I wanted. Very neutral. This table also came in, and it's like a temporary one because the one that I really wanted, which I'll put a picture of on the screen, is not gonna be here until January, but I did wanna switch this out anyways. Um, I'm gonna put together the table, and then um, I'm gonna bring the art in from yesterday, and then we should have everything except for the rug, which we really need. This rug on camera doesn't look as bad as it is. This rug just doesn't do very well with cleaning. Um, we've tried a couple of spot cleaners, didn't work, and it's not machine washable. So we are gonna say goodbye to it today, but I am actually really happy because I think that the color, I would expect it to be more subtle and it's actually quite bold and it doesn't really match the rest of the room. So we're gonna say goodbye. much lower table, which I like, but it's just white. It's simple. So only one of the pieces came. I thought that they came together, but they're actually made to order. So um, we're still waiting on the living room rug, but what I am gonna do is get rid of the current rug and just show you like what furniture pieces are gonna be there. And then when the rug comes, we'll do like the final reveal. But today we're gonna lay down the kitchen runner, which means I need to first do a little vacuuming and mopping situation so it's clean underneath the pad. But after that, it's gonna be so much easier because we just cook so much that there's always like food on the floor, naturally crumbs, like it's just unavoidable. So I'm really excited because this will just make it a lot more cozy and um, just be easier to clean. Laying it down is really easy. It comes with this like Velcro bottom pad, which also has a little bit of cushion to it, which is really nice. So we're gonna lay this out and then the carpet top Velcros on top of it. And you can also peel it off to wash it, so. Okay, here is the final result. It actually matches the floorboards and the cabinets, I think really well. And yeah, it feels great. And just gonna be so much easier to clean. So I'm excited. The second rug for the living room has officially arrived, so we're just gonna put the finishing touches in the space, which is to lay the carpet down, but I do have to move everything again just to make sure it all goes on top. I'm super excited though. So I'm gonna show you the rug and then I will give you the grand reveal. carpet has been laid down. It's so nice and it feels good on the feet. Then we have the table pouch, the little macaron ottoman, um, and then we have Sesame's couch. 
I think it looks so good and also it helps to brighten up the room a lot putting the white carpet on the floor so I love that. All right Beans that is it for today's video I hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think of the living room personally I am so in love with it I feel like it's just so much brighter I'm sitting here right now in its after state and I love it it feels so good especially like the fluffy carpet on my feet so let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And once again, a big thank you to Ruggable for sponsoring today's video. Make sure you check out the link in the description box and use my code to save on Ruggable Rugs. I'll see you in another one soon. Bye.